so welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to do a video on this beautiful 2020 gmc sierra it does have the 5.3 i have a trailer so you know what we're about to do today right let's get into it really quickly be sure to subscribe to jb reviews and make sure you have those bell notifications on and be sure to check out my other channel attainable exotic cars now let's get back to the video hands down i do think that gmc has one of the best looking pickup trucks on the road whether it be this half ton or heavy duty they make a really beautiful truck and this pearl paint does all the justice for it too i mean it just looks stunning i love those black accents on the tail lights and check out the tailgate this has that whatever they call this thing they have this transformer tailgate only bad thing about it is we can't use it today because as you can see we have a hitch hooked up to it special shout out to Fitzgerald auto mall here in frederick maryland they did provide the truck for me today um, they don't have a lot of trucks this truck is priced around 63 to 64 grand so you're gonna pay today but look what you're getting 11,000 mile pickup truck let's take a look at the tow numbers to see if it can actually tow this beautiful trailer gm does do something pretty unique they give you all of your trailering information on the door jam of the driver's side door so they show you the gross fuel weight rating 7100 pounds gross combined weight rating with truck and trailer 15,000 rear gross axle weight rating is 3,800 pounds curb weight is 5,463 pounds and max payload is 1,637 pounds now this truck can tow up to 9,200 pounds conventional so this trailer is actually a lot lighter uh, it's probably about 8,700 pounds right now because I have a new car in there I'm gonna show you guys that in a second and your max tow weight should be about 920 pounds gooseneck trailer 8100 pounds max tone weight there's 1215 so all in all i'm probably on the cusp of the hitch weight for this truck and of course that's just their recommendation but by all means you want to stay within your payload capacity so with me inside this truck with this heavy tunnel cover because this is going to add more weight to the truck obviously we're probably about max of what we should do with this truck me personally i would definitely choose a heavy duty truck for a trailer this size this is a 28 foot trailer like i said it had it this let's take a look at what's inside the trailer first hold on one second hold on all right so if you don't know yet i did start another channel called attainable exotic cars as you probably saw and i have an audi r8 now so i had a dodge charger wide body that car weighed probably about a thousand pounds more than this car did this is a rear wheel series, so this car is not all-wheel drive. Um, it is mid-engine, so a lot of the weight that was on the front of my Charger is actually on the axles of this trailer. So I probably am around 1,000 pounds on tongue weight. So I'm actually interested to see how I'm just going to weigh. I'm going to get it weighed soon, but right now, JB Reviews is very busy, so I don't have the time, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and take a look at the towing features for this truck and see what GM gives you with this setup here. I just noticed this. That looks like two different wood designs. Yeah, that's definitely different guys. Or maybe it's just the way the sun's hitting it on the side, I don't know. It looks different though when you look at it from here, but let's go ahead and start it up, push button start. Now. GM trucks put their tow haul mode in this toggle. So this shows you some of your driving modes, sport, off-road, and normal. And if you uh, swipe it to the left, that turns on your tow haul mode. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but check out your battery here. I've never noticed this. I've done a lot of testing on these trucks. It changes your battery to your transmission temperature, so you can monitor that. Really cool. As you can see below, we do have a trailer brake. So you can kind of set this up. Inside the screen, they do give you a backup camera out back and they do give you a line for your trailer and you can zoom into the hitch also. So this truck is optional with a 360 camera that Chevy trucks are. I strongly recommend if you are towing a trailer, those camera systems are the best in the business and you should option your truck with that if you're building it from the factory or whatever the case is. But for the most part, I like the way this truck is set up. 
Uh, this is the Denali, so this is the top of the line. So if you're looking for a payload, you're not gonna buy this truck. You need to get an SLT or uh, maybe even an AT4, but you wanna really limit how many options you put on this truck, like that tonneau cover or that big old, whatever that cover is on the back of the bed, and your spray and bay liner, all those things are gonna take away from your payload. All right, so let's go ahead and back up so you guys can kind of get an idea. So I towed this here with my 3500, so it's probably gonna be way too high. But as you can see, I'm pretty much there. I didn't even line this up originally. I just kind of backed up to it, but let's kind of go back. Let's push this button here. And you can see it does move with the steering wheel. All right, let's just get it perfectly under that ball. Right. zoom in okay so I'm off this a little bit so I have to turn the steering wheel to the left like that and then back up one more time and see if we're there that's perfect right there Boom. so they do have an automatic parking brake too so it does identify there's a trailer so it does apply the electronic emergency brake for you automatically you have a class 4 receiving hitch so this is going to be a two inch opening. I already have my hitch installed here. We are going to measure. So I'm going to measure the truck to see how much it's going to squat. They do give you a four and a seven pin connector. And your mounting points on this truck are actually really nice. Um, they should accommodate my bigger chains. They give you some pretty big chains on these newer trailers. So just be on the lookout. You know, if you want to get a size down maybe, yeah. They don't really fit that well. So I may have to go around. I'll show you. I may have to go like this way. Like that. Basically. And then you can connect your breakaway switch. And then you connect your power. And it's pretty easy stuff. All right, let's go ahead and measure to see how much this truck's gonna squat. All right, looks like it's at 37 and 3 fourths. I was going to take this up 6% grade, but we're going to stay local because this is extremely low. Let's go ahead and review how much it squat. It's squatting a little too much. I mean, check out the chains. What's very ironic though, it's very unique how weight is distributed on these trailers because let me just say something. Most of the weight that was forward is now on the axles of this trailer but yet truck is still squatting pretty badly i have to twist the chains a little bit to take some slack out so they're not obviously like hitting the ground but this is not really safe to tow with going at high speeds we'll just take this locally like i said but one thing i really have to mention here is my trailer for this size truck weight distribution hitch 100 percent the other thing is you're definitely gonna need a three quarter ton truck if you want a trailer the size too. Like this truck can tow this trailer, it's within the limits, guys. The only problem is the suspension on this truck is just not up to the task. Now Ram has coil springs. This does have a leaf spring setup out back. It does have a independent front suspension. But again, look at this thing. It is squatting really badly let's go ahead and measure to see how much it is we are at 34 and 15 16 so that's about that's about three inches guys so check out the 5.3 liter under the hood now this is going to be good for 355 horsepower 383 pound feet of torque 
going to be made into a 10 speed transmission and this does have fuel management also. So this can drop down to like two cylinders for fuel efficiency. And as you can kind of tell, this is a really quiet engine. Like I'm not talking any louder and I have my mic facing in opposite direction. So you're actually facing the engine here and you can actually tell it's really, really quiet. I have it in tow haul mode, trailer brake. You can kind of see now, you can see the uh, percentage when I push this in. See that? We're gonna set this to about five. That should be good. And the only way before you get going, you can pull forward a little bit. You can pull it. You can see how it slows it down. So it's definitely enough braking from the trailer to help. So let's go ahead and get down the road a little bit. I was gonna take us a six percent grade, but yeah, this truck, this truck's not up to the task, guys. Even at low speeds, like when I hit the brakes, the truck goes like side to side. And yeah, there's usually just a few things that you have to really like consider. I mean, I know a lot of times, you know, if a truck's in stock and it's the only truck they have, you know, it's a truck that can tow the trailer, right? You have to really do some research. I think that this is the most eye-opening thing for me. When I start towing with these half tons, I've done a lot of videos on these. I keep coming to that same conclusion, like you gotta get a bigger truck. Even if the manufacturer says that you can tow with it, you know, you have to really ask yourself the question, like is it worth it? Is it worth your safety? Is it worth the potential of causing an accident? Like if, if a big truck goes by you and makes your truck start to sway really badly and you lose control, it's just something to consider. By the way, my kids are back there too. They, wifey drops them off and um, you guys want to say hi real quick? Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, we're going to go low speeds. And we're going to see. But yeah, this, this 5.3 definitely has good power. Has really good power. We'll probably get to about 55 maybe. Maybe that's about as high as I'll go maybe. But yeah, that's something else you have to consider too is if you're going to get a smaller truck, you have to go slower. I mean, typically if you have a HD truck, you can go 70 miles an hour and you should still feel pretty comfortable. Obviously you have to check the rating on your tires, make sure you have the right setup for your trailer so you're not, you know, exceeding that. But I guess, you know, now that I'm on a road, it's not too bad. Not too bad. The 5.3 is up to the task. definitely feels underpowered but it's you know but like I said it has enough performance one day I'll have to take it up 6% grade um, with another truck in the future maybe maybe one that's a little bit better set up if I get another max tow GM truck we'll take that up the 6% grade but I'm going just under 60 and I'm swaying not good Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. All right, so like I said, I'm going about 55 now. Yeah, and the truck is definitely, it's swaying. It's definitely swaying. So these lower speeds are definitely needed. I've said this in other videos. These mirrors are amazing. They do have options to add tow mirrors, but you can save your money. These are really good mirrors. This is an eight and a half wide trailer too, so you can see really well around it. I'm gonna give you guys some acceleration here. Wide open throttle. Yeah. Not bad. But if you're going up really steep grades, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have that max trailering package that way you get the higher rear axle. I believe they add a 342 um, as opposed to a 323, I believe it is. I'm not sure what this truck has. They don't have a window sticker, so this truck could just be a standard tow vehicle. So, and actually now that I think about it, with the towing numbers on the door, it's probably just a standard truck. But overall, like I said, if you want the best performance, that 6.2 is the way to go. 
100%. But overall, I mean, I'm glad I still did this test. I mean, it's still a truck that you can tow maybe 5,000 pounds with. That'd be perfect for something like this. Um, if you want to tow a little bit more, like maybe closer to what they're saying you can tow with it, I would say upgrade your tires, weight distribution hitch, and I would definitely say maybe if they have even sway bars that are a little bit stiffer, that might be something to also add on to the truck. Now let's take a look at the tires real quickly. So these are a 275-60-20. These are not LT tires, so if you are going to tow with something like this, you're going to have to upgrade these tires. Max load on each tire is 2,679 pounds. So yeah, I'm not I'm not towing a trailer too heavy with something like this. And like I said, this isn't something that I would definitely tow long distance with. I mean, even if you add an airbag weight distribution hitch, this truck's gonna feel really light because this trailer weighs more than the truck because the curb weight was like, what, 5,400 pounds? So 100% three quarter ton or one ton truck. Yeah, going around town, you can't even feel it back there. At 30, 35 miles an hour, the trailer's not even there. But like I said, once you get over 50, you can really start to feel the truck kind of going side to side. And it's really the tires. If this truck had LT tires or like just something a little bit more stiffer sidewall, I think that you would feel a little bit more confident. Tires can make the biggest difference there, 100%. But this trailer is so long, once the wind starts hitting it, these tires kind of give up a little bit and you can really feel some play. And this suspension is soft too. Even when I was driving here to, you know, get where my trailer was, as I was on the road, I can kind of feel the truck, you know, swaying because this truck doesn't have a lot of weight to it. I mean, when you drive an HD truck, I mean, you can feel that weight. Like it has a solid front axle. And that's something else, the IFS on this truck too, which is the independent front suspension, that's going to give you some play also. That's going to help, you know, really balance comfort a little bit more so than stability because those wheels are independently moving. So if one wheel is, you know, rebounding, I guess, is that the right word to use? You know, that could actually translate to some, you know, to like a little bit of a shift or flex a little bit in the in how the suspension is moving. So having a solid front axle is just a little bit better for you know, towing something heavy like this. All right guys, so we're gonna do a, a low speed acceleration. I would go from zero, but it's just gonna spin. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. But man, this truck just, it's going side to side. <laughs> And like I said, it's just, this is a big trailer. I mean, maybe I should have went with a 24 footer. It would have been a little bit more comfortable to tow with like these half ton trucks. But like I've said earlier, for something like this, you're gonna want three quarter ton or up. You guys wanna check out my backup skills? Let's see if I can get it back over there. Hold on. Let's see. I'm a little too close, but here. I'll back it straight a little bit. Ah, uh, might. I touched a little bit. Darn. Oh well. And now I gotta really cut it. curve on the right side. Now it's got to back it all the way up. This is kind of how I taught myself how to back up trailers, just going around a parking lot like this. And there it is. We're back. We're safe. We made it. No one got hurt in this video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. 
I have a lot more videos like this that you can go back and watch with my charger. It's a little bit more heavier car. All in all, this truck did good, guys. You know, I think the tires really messed me up today. Um, this had a little bit better tire on it. I think I would have gone a little bit further, but all in all, you have to make sure you have the perfect tow vehicle if you're gonna to be towing something this heavy. This truck is light. This truck is not built for towing heavy. So you really wanna consider something a little bit better that's geared towards that, which is a heavy duty truck. But again, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Be sure to drop a comment down below. Thank you.